Hey everyone, Tim Anderson here, aka Renfell. Welcome back to another one of my EverQuest tutorial videos. And today we're going to be covering bandoliers and melody macros for bards so that you can very easily switch between weapon and instrument sets as well as melody sets, which are the song combinations that allow you to do lots of cool different things as a bard. Now it's worth noting that this only applies to the live servers or if you're like me and you're playing on a TLP progression server because it does not take place on P99 servers because bandoliers don't exist on the P99 servers. Now. This video, I have a lot of people to thank for this because when I was setting up my bard a little bit over a week ago, I had some very kind people who were in my YouTube chat helping me figure out how to do all this. And then when I was talking about it with Kel the other day, he was like, dude, you should totally make a video on that. And I went, hey, that's a really good idea because when I went looking for information, all I found was some remote forum threads. There was no visual information on how to do that. So that's how this video came about. Hopefully it's something that's useful to everybody because I sure could have used a visual aid <laughs> when I did this. But it is really simple once you figure out how this will all works. So let's just dive in first and foremost. So the first thing you need to understand is that the bandolier, which you can bring up, I believe the default is the B key, but my B key is for bags. So I set my bandolier to the F key, but you can set it to whatever you want. The bandolier is essentially weapon sets. So you can have four different weapon sets I don't know if you can get more of those. I just know that's what I have available on my bard at this level. I'm level 11. Um, so you'll notice here it has the primary weapon slot, secondary weapon slot, the ranged weapon slot, and the um, arrows or the ammo slot. Now right now I have these three equipped. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. I'm going to put the flute and I'm going to go ahead and click add and we're going to fill this out and call it flute. Now you'll notice that right now nothing is filled out. These are all empty. But when I click the flute button, it's going to make a uh, make a hot key. It's going to make a, a weapon set, which is my smoldering bland, brand plus my wooden flute plus my gleaming deep lantern and nothing for the ammo slot. And watch what happens here. It's going to populate these three. Boom. So now I have a weapon set for the flute. Now, I also have my test slots, which are the same exact main hand and ranged, just a different instrument. So test two is my drum and test is my lute. So I now have a lute, a drum and a uh, flute set up with three different weapon sets. Now, if I was a warrior or a ranger or someone else who is only ever going to be using the weapon sets, the only thing I would need to do here is click this hot button. That's going to give me a hot key for the flute set and I would drag it down here onto my um, hot bar and I would click it and boom, I now have a flute equipped, right? Or if I could go over here, you'll see this better. When I click the flute one, boom, now I have my flute equipped in my offhand. So that's just the weapon set component of this. Now, again, remember, there's another component to this, which is the actual melodies themselves and the setting up of the different melodies and how I can blend the weapon sets with the melody hotkeys so that I can very quickly switch between instruments and weapons, as well as different song combinations for pulling, mezzing, group buffs, so on and so forth when I'm in a group setting with my bard. So we're going to dive into that next part now, how to make your macros. But before we do, this is the part of the video where I get to say, hey, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you get updates for future content that I do on this channel. We play a lot of EverQuest, but we also do Lotro. We do uh, World of Warcraft Classic. We do other games, EverQuest 2. I do lots of other things here, so check them all out. Don't forget, you can also support the channel with a super thanks, which is a great way to say, hey, Tim, I love your content. Thank you so much. Here's a cup of coffee. You can donate whatever you want through the super thanks system on this video or any of my older videos. And if you happen to catch me on a live stream, you can always do super chats and stickers there. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can join as a member of the Adventurers Guild down below which is the membership option here on youtube we also have a patreon page patreon.com forward slash wander hermits where my wife and my brother and i are working on the world of the weave in the void which is a fifth edition tabletop setting it is also a point and click adventure game like the old king's quest games and there is a book series like dragonlance all of that's being done to the patreon page so you can check that out at your leisure that's the cta everybody 
let's get back to the video. Now let's talk about the actual macros. So a melody, if you've never played a bard before, a melody is just a way to set up a combination of songs that you will sing in a specific combination. Now the cool thing about setting up a macro using the bandolier system is that we can also incorporate instrument swapping into those macros, which will very quickly allow us to switch from this song combination to that song combination, and at the same time switch this weapon combination to that weapon combination, assuming that we actually have other weapons that we want to be using. In this case, I only have the Smoldering Brand, so it's gonna be the same weapon in that primary slot throughout the different macros that I'm gonna show you that I have set up already on this character. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at my pulling macro. Let's get the bags closed. So my pulling macro looks something like this. The first line is Bandolier Activate Test 2. Test 2 is the one that has my drum equipped. Now, the reason I want this one as my pulling macro is because I have Salos, which is the run speed spell, tied into my melody so that when I'm pulling, I'm running very, very fast. The drum gives you additional run speed, so it helps to have this in your offhand when you are pulling. So you'll notice that First line is the Bandolier Activate, which is going to activate the weapon slot, the weapon set that I want. The next one is going to say Stop Song, which is going to stop any other melodies that I might be playing. And then it's going to start a new melody, which in this case is melody 3, 1, 4, and 5. Well, what are those numbers, Tim? What do those numbers represent? Those represent the spell gems that you have here over on your left-hand side. And if I, if I go ahead and just let's say stop completely. You'll notice those unclear, they're, they clear out now because they're not being used. So I have one, two, three, four, five spells right now, and I have three gem slots that are empty. So when I look at the melody line, it's casting three, one, four, and five. That means it's casting Salos first, then it's going to Chant of Battle, then it's going to Hymn of Restoration, followed by Jonathan's Whistling War Song. Now, if I were to click that macro, it's gonna switch to the drum. You'll notice it just switched to the drum and it starts singing those songs appropriately. So that's my pulling macro, okay? Now, if I went over to Melody 1, which I haven't renamed yet, um, let's call this uh, uh, Group Battle, okay? Go ahead and call that one that. You'll notice this one activates a different weapon set. It activates Test which is the first one which has my loot in the offhand instrument slot. Now, the reason I want the loot is because the loot helps me with the uh, AOE damage song, Chords of Dissonance. It'll add additional damage to that. So I like to have the loot playing when I do that. Plus, it helps out with some of the other things that I'm going to be um, doing with this macro. So the Bandolier for the group battle would say, okay, I've, I've pulled the mobs, I have them in camp, now I wanna switch over to do damage, I wanna help my group. So I'm gonna hit this one and it's gonna activate the secondary weapon set. It's gonna stop the previous melody by hitting the stop song line. Then it's gonna start a new melody, which in this case starts off with Hymn of Restoration, which restores the health of my group. It then goes to number five, which is my buff songs, Jonathan's was in War Song, and then it goes to one, which is the Chant of Battle, which is for my group mates. And then it goes to two, which is the Chords of Dissonance. It's also going to switch to my loot. So if I hit this right now, you're going to notice that my weapon is going to stay the same because it's the same primary weapon, but my offhand, which is the instrument, is going to change as will the songs that I'm playing. We're going to click it three, two, one, boom. It stopped all my songs. It switched to my loot. Now it starts playing the new combination of songs or the new melody. It literally is that simple, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you understand bandoliers a little bit better now. Bandoliers being weapon sets, melodies being the song combinations, and how you can easily use your bandolier to put into a macro with your melodies to very quickly and easily switch your weapon sets with your offhand instruments to combine with the melodies that you want to use. And you can use whatever melodies you want. You can mix and match those however you want. You could set up 20 different melody macros if you'd like and all the different weapon sets that you enjoy. That's it for this tutorial video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, join our Discord, drop a super thanks on this if you want to support the channel. Join as a member of the Adventurers Guild and we'll see everybody in the next episode.